Hey guys, welcome to another quarantine vlog. Um, I know everyone's posting these right now, so kind of annoying, but also gives me the perfect excuse to start posting on YouTube again, so I'm here for it. So last vlog that I uploaded, I was still in New York. Obviously that was before everything got super crazy. I booked like a panic flight. I'm now home in Minnesota in my parents' house working from home and yeah tbd on how long i'm going to be here i'm in workout clothes because i'm getting ready to do a 45 minute yoga sculpt uh live and then i also leave the link up so if anyone wants to do it and then also if you want to um know when i'm posting new ones because each one will be a different workout just follow my instagram and then i'll post updates and then i'll put the link in my bio um cool so that's the game plan um i'm gonna start with that this morning and then honestly, I'll probably be here the rest of the day. I have my YouTube light. I have getting ready. Here's my setup. Hopefully I can get like some better quality eventually. And we're just talking about maybe getting a microphone and stuff. So that would be very exciting. But yeah, I have about 10 minutes until I go live. So I'm just finishing up my sequence now. <laughs> I'm so unprepared, but it'll be fine. Okay, I just got done with my workout. You can see my horrible skin. Great. Um, my makeup is completely running off. <laughs> I need to fix myself for like a second. Okay, so I just finished my workout. I changed into my work from home outfit and it sweats. So here is the work from home outfit. I have my sweatpants from Misguided. This little crop top is from Topshop. They don't make it anymore. It's so old. It's like my favorite though. So I wish that they would make it. And then um, I have on my slippers. I'm probably going to get a sweatshirt or a robe or something because my mom keeps the house at like 50 degrees. So I'm going to go downstairs have some breakfast and show you guys what I've been eating lately. You put on your shirt and then it gets stuck on your earring. Oh God. Okay, so I just went ahead and made breakfast. I am really obsessed with this breakfast right now. So I put oatmeal and then dairy-free yogurt, honey, and then granola, and then the granola that I'm using. Um, I wanted to mention because it is, ooh, the light friend of mine from college. Started a company, so check out their granola. It's honestly like, not just saying this, it does taste amazing. I'm obsessed with the flavor of it. It kind of tastes like Christmas in a way to me, um, but I'll link it below and if you guys want to support um, that would be awesome. I also just wanted to mention all the ingredients. So they also put um, mushrooms in the granola or mushroom powder to be honest. I don't know how they do it, um, but they put it in the granola and then each one has different properties and they're just overall really good for you. Here are also the ingredients. They're all super clean and delicious. But yeah, this has been the best breakfast. So I'm just going to go take it to my desk once you solve all of them like it should only So these are the gluten-free English muffins. I'm gonna top with some Kite Hill cream cheese, maybe some red onion, and we'll see what else. So this is going to be my lunch. I have a homemade green juice going on right here. It's not looking so pretty because I used dark berries, but I probably only had like a handful of berries in there, and then it's literally just spinach, water, ginger powder, and lemon juice. So just getting all my extra greens in and then I'm having two of the gluten-free 
or one English muffin, but there's two halves, obviously. And then I put tomato, red onion, and a little bit of olive oil with some pickles on the side. And that's lunch. I'm getting a little hungry or bored. I'm gonna have this baby Honeycrisp apple. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of peanut butter. So that's gonna be my snack if you care. Also, this was full this morning. I did have a small piece and Betty Crocker sure does know what she's doing, I'll tell you that. Come on, Todd. So I'm just meal prepping some carrots, so I just get a big bag and then I'm gonna do all of them at once. I'm going to peel all of those and then boil them over here. Once they are boiled and you can do like the fork test, so you stick a fork in it and see if they're nice and soft, then you just remove the water and then add some ghee to the pan and let them just cook and then add the Lowry seasoning and that's literally it. And they're the best cooked carrots, they're a great side, they're great on salads. And then I'm also um, cooking some cauliflower in here and I just toss that in salt, pepper, um, Frank's buffalo sauce and ghee and then I um, just have it like cooking in here. So that is the meal prep quarantine situation. I'm not enough, but I still stay. Outside now, Julie's letting me go to Whole Foods. I'm wearing gloves, I have a mask in my pocket and I'm going to be as careful as possible. Am I good? No. First thing that I need, I need a hundred of these. Just got home from Whole Foods and then we disinfected all of the groceries and now I'm gonna do a haul on my entryway for mainly just get like my packaged and like kind of specialty foods at Whole Foods because it's so expensive and then when my mom goes to the grocery store she gets a lot of produce which I'll eat on a regular basis. So I love these organic chickpea puffs. So like once every two weeks, I'll pick those up. Um, I'm addicted to smart sweets, which is, are easily the best. And then I love these so delicious ice cream bars. I actually think I like the dark chocolate vanilla bean ones the best, but I wanted to switch it up. So I got salted caramel and yeah, they're not the best that so we're trying. Um, I got this just as a really fun quarantine dessert. Got some brownies to make, yay. The ingredients on these are obviously amazing. I love Simple Mills. I got a bunch of cauliflower, so I'm gonna make, I'm gonna attempt cauliflower wings. So I got this Kite Hill Ranch dip, which I've never seen, very excited about. And then I got some forager yogurt for my new breakfast obsession. And then I had gotten the Mikey's English muffins before, but I've heard of these um, food for life ones that are also gluten free, but the ingredients on them are really good. Whole Foods haul, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll show you guys dinner when it's ready. The nacho hip peas, I think I like the um, white cheddar butter, but they're also good. Mom is making sesame chicken. So that's gonna be dinner. Sesame sauce, chicken going into the pan over here. No idea what's in this, but I'm sure it's good. Okay, so this is dinner. My mom made it, it looks so good. I'll probably have a little bit more. I wish we had like broccoli or something, because that's what I would usually put like this. But I'm so hungry, I'm just gonna eat this and then we'll go from there. Thanks, mom. Can't do that. Why? Look, look, look at me. You woke me up the other day on FaceTime with Teresa from uh, straight out of bed. Okay, so this is Allie doesn't want to cook, and I just put the broccoli in some hot water in the microwave for four minutes, and now it's nice and soft. And then I'm gonna cut it up, put it with some oh no. R.I.P. Um, some sweet chili sauce and then a little bit more rice and that's my hack if you want to eat more but not eat more if you know what I'm saying. So this is round two. I'm just running a bath right now and then I'm going to have um, a Trader Joe's peanut butter cup. And then this is the bath salt that I use and it's by Sage Wellness. And they're just one of my favorite brands. They have the best scents. 